Hey Converge community, it's Mission Minutes time and I'm in cold, windy, rainy northern Michigan. And it's got me thinking about Matthew 8 when Jesus calms the storm. And they go out, they're in the boat, he's with fishermen. And they, Jesus falls asleep and it's bad enough, it's wavy enough, they're freaking out. In fact, I saw a Coast Guard cop chopper go last night over this lake because it was so rough out here. Our boat broke off in the middle of the night, not completely, but it was that rough. And I can imagine what these fishermen must have been thinking when they said, Jesus, we're going to drown, we're going to die. And he wakes up and he says, you of little faith. And then all of a sudden, he calms the wind and the storms and they're shocked and says, who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey him? And I think all too often we forget about how much we can trust our God. And even those things we think we're most experts in, like the fishermen with the weather and the waves, that we think we know best and we know how to manage on our own, but Jesus ultimately has control over and we don't trust him for, and we have to sit back and trust God for those things that we have a hard time trusting him for, and allow him to do something miraculous so we can find ourselves saying, who is this man who even the wind or waves or finances or family situations obey. And I just wanted to give you that encouragement. It's, we've been out in this water, it's rough and it's scary and it couldn't help but think about this this week. And I don't know if there's something you're going through right now that you've got some severe doubt about. We had that message a few weeks ago with Sarah Ruth. I wanna encourage you to trust our Lord and Savior and put your faith that he will calm the wind and the waves and whatever storm you're going through. I hope you guys are doing well. I can't wait to see you Sunday. I love you guys, and I'll see you then. Have a great rest of the week.